Summer, 1937. Years of clashes between the armies of China and Japan erupt into a full-scale war. Destroying Jewish businesses. In 1937, diplomat Feng Shanhe, He Feng Shan, was posted to the Republic of China as the ROC Consul General in Vienna. He was unwilling to simply stand by as Jews faced imprisonment and death, and so took the courageous step of issuing visas for life that granted Jewish refugees safe passage to Shanghai. From there, they could travel to other destinations all around the world. Sometimes, people would stuff applications into He's car, and even then, he would issue them visas. He was eventually transferred back to China in May 1940. But as he prepared to board his train to leave, he still managed to deliver a batch of signed visas to Jewish refugees waiting for him on the platform. No one knows exactly how many visas for life He issued while in Vienna from 1938 to May 1940. Who went his whole life without once going public with the story of his assistance to the Jewish refugees. In 1997, that family members mentioned in his obituary published in a newspaper in San Francisco that he had issued visas to Jews. Word spread, and he became known as the Chinese Schindler. In July 2000, the government of Israel awarded her the title Righteous Among the Nations as a show of gratitude. In January 2001, the government of Israel officially issued her a Righteous Among the Nations certificate and medallion, which were accepted by his son Manda He and daughter Manli He. In 2007, he was named an honorary citizen of Israel. Her's courage in the face of tyranny and his commitment to humanitarianism shall live on in the annals of time and have written a glorious chapter in the history of ROC diplomacy.